Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. Today's Tuesday, I don't have the date. I don't, it's like the 16th or 17th, I think. And it is two o'clock in the afternoon. <sighs> and it's already been like a semi rough week, not to be dramatic. It hasn't been rough, it's just been, I've just been like unmotivated and feeling very blah. So yesterday, Monday, usually Mondays are like, I try to treat it like a normal Monday because I try to treat the weekends like normal weekends for the most part. Well, yesterday, Monday, I just was in this most stank mood for no reason. I mean, I, the morning did start off rough because I had a dream that Vic cheated on me. So I was very upset, very sad. And then that just kind of took over my day. So yesterday I was fully couch potato, didn't do shit but i was just like not i couldn't bring myself to do anything so then so then that kind of discouraged me for the rest of this week but i'm trying to not let it take over this whole week like i don't want to just throw away this whole week because monday was bad you know i'm trying to like get over that so today's tuesday i did get a later start to the day and the day did start off like just how it started off yesterday but i made myself get out of bed i hopped in the shower and that made me feel a lot better i listened to music which also made me feel a lot better and i got some work done so we're doing good um like i said it's around two o'clock i'm about to go get a pedicure i usually don't get my nails done i don't get my nails done because of my pottery and i just don't care that much and i'm trying to save money and i usually do my pedicures myself too like i haven't gotten a pedicure in probably a year because i do them myself but sometimes i just am not in the mood to do it myself so today i am going to go treat myself to a pedicure and then tonight we are going to dinner with my parents and my family friends like the parents of our family friends they're kind of like my aunt and uncle sort of so the six of us are going to dinner and i'm excited about that so it's something to look forward to for the day oh my gosh also if you haven't heard youtube is now demonetizing and kind of punishing people who swear in the first like seven seconds of a video or if they swear throughout the video and y'all know y'all know how i be talking and so i'm just like are you kidding me now i can't talk the way i talk now i have to like i have to like think about what i say before i say it i already have to do that in public i already have to do that around people like i don't want to do that in my vlogs too it's like ugh. but it is what it is i gotta follow the rules so we're gonna try to tone it down you know take it from r to pg pg 13 i don't know that's kind of annoying but it is what it is but anyways let's go get this pedicure i'm probably not gonna vlog there but i am making a tiktok it's just easier to film stuff on your phone in public because it's normal and nobody looks or like thinks anything of it versus bringing a big ass camera somewhere so so insert tiktok mini vlog portion where i got a pedicure we'll just insert that here Okay, it's many hours later now. It is 5.19. I went and got my pedicure. It was really cute. The place was really cute. It's basically new. I think she said they'd only been open for like two months, but my pedicure is really good. They did a great job. Now I'm just gonna start getting ready for dinner. We need to leave in about an hour and 10 minutes. And I have an idea in my head of what I wanna wear, but y'all know. Doing my makeup and my hair is like the fastest, easiest part because I do the same thing all the time. But when it comes to getting dressed, I am so all over the place and indecisive. Like I said, I have an idea of this dress I want to wear that I've never worn. It's just been sitting in my closet for a while, but it's really cute. But it's kind of out of my comfort zone and I might add to it that makes it even more out of my comfort zone. So we'll see if I actually end up wearing it or if I chicken out and end up wearing something like more basic, but I have an idea. So we'll see. Hopefully I'm writing on time and everything because I do not want to be running late. I'm hungry, but I'm also filming um, a mini TikTok vlog today. So I'm going to be filming me doing my makeup and stuff. And then I'm going to do a get dressed with me for TikTok. So huh, got my little phone set up there, but I want to listen to some music. And since I'm using, that's not the password, since I'm using my phone to record, I can't play music on my phone. So I'm going to play it on the iPad. you anymore spending all this time trying 
Never to see you again That was simply delusion Followed up with confusion That was just substitution For a lonely bed So that's impressive How much you're messing With my feelings in my heart Oh yeah Yeah that's impressive How much you're messing With my feelings in my heart Okay, it's like, what time is it? It's almost 6.30, it's 6.27. I'm not running late, go me. But this is the finished look, I'm all ready. Hair and makeup is done. I put on my jewelry. This is the outfit. I love it so much. It's out of my comfort zone, but this year I'm really trying to not think about what other people want me to wear when I get dressed because I do that I'm not even joking. Every single time I get dressed, even if I'm just like wearing crappy clothes to Target, I think about like, oh, well this set of crappy clothes is cuter than this set of crappy clothes and people would like, it's, it's stupid. But I'm trying to focus on myself and wear stuff I wanna wear and be who I wanna be this year and not think about other people before myself so much. So I love this outfit. The dress is from Pretty Little Thing. Um, this little bralette underneath is from Loungewear. It's really old. This harness is from Shein. And then the white purse is from Amazon. The jean jacket's from Amazon. And the boots are from, oh wait, no, they're from Amazon. In my TikTok, I said they're from DSW. Oh well, but this is the fit. I love it. Okay, it is like almost a week later. It's Monday and I think I last filmed last Tuesday when we went to dinner with my parents. Yeah, so today's the 23rd, it's 5 p.m. and I cut bangs in my hair, literally like, was that yesterday or day before yesterday? Spontaneously, I just, I had styled my hair for a TikTok because somebody asked me like how I curled my hair and they wanted a step-by-step because -step they couldn't figure out how to do it. So I styled my hair and then once, like how I style it all the time. And after I styled it, it's hard to tell now because my hair is up and I just got home from the gym. But after I styled it, I was like, I am just not feeling it. Like it looks fine, but I feel like it's a little blah. And then also on top of that, I was editing me and Tori's last two cents episode, which I uploaded this morning. So go watch it. And my hair was styled the same way I had styled it for the TikTok in that video. Because that's pretty much how I've been wearing it these days. And even when I was editing, I was like, my hair just looks like flat and very blah. So I had decided I wanted curtain bangs. But yeah, I feel like so much has happened since I last vlogged, but also nothing has happened at the same time. So cut myself some curtain bangs. I had pottery this past weekend and it was amazing. I love my new class so much. All of my classmates are super fun. It's a bigger class this time. And I don't think I showed you guys yet, but let me grab it. I bought this stamp on Etsy for my pottery. Um, you probably can't read it, maybe. Uh, it's going like in and out of focus, but it says Leah Toshia pottery. But I got this for the bottom of my pottery because in the first class when I was doing it, we still have to put something on the bottom so that you know whose class it belongs to and everything and whose piece it is. So we always had to put our initials and then like what class we were in. So I'll have like a really cute piece of art, right? <laughs> so I'll have like, I have this cute little bowl that I made. And on the bottom, it just looks f Oh, I can't swear anymore. I forgot. Guys, I have to like completely change the way I talk. It looks bad on the bottom of this like really cute, elegant piece. So I bought this custom stamp on Etsy. I think it was like $35. So now I can just stamp the bottom of my artwork. And then the other major update was this morning for the first time, I mentioned it before, but I was looking for a cleaning lady and weighing the options of hiring a cleaning lady. And I finally did. And today was the first day she deep cleaned our house. It was earlier this morning. She came at like 8.30 AM. It took her like four hours because it was just one woman, but our house, is sparkling it's stunning it's perfect it's beautiful and i don't think i can ever go back now like i clean all the time so the house will be clean but i'm talking like the deep cleaning the floorboards like deep cleaning the toilets and all of that i can never go back i never want to do it myself again so 
I think I'm gonna have her come like every other month or so and she was a freaking doll I loved her so much. It felt really awkward for me to to have her clean my house though I'm not even gonna lie because I didn't grow up with that. I grew up with a lot of friends who had maids and they like grew up with maids and cleaning people and all that kind of stuff. My family didn't have that or do that or spend money on that. So it's kind of foreign for me. And I'm not gonna lie, it felt really weird. Anytime it's like a service like that, I feel, I think the whole thing behind it is I don't want anyone I hire for a service like that to like clean my house and clean my toilets or whatever. I don't ever want them to feel like they think I'm better than them or above them in some way, shape or form because I'm not, we are equals. But because I so badly don't want them to like assume I'm like a stuck up person for hiring a cleaning person or something like that, I like try so hard to like make them feel comfortable. Like I was like, I've never done this before. Let me know if you need anything, if you're thirsty, if you get hungry, if you want a snack, like just let me know. <laughs> and she was like, no, it's fine. Like I have my own water. Like I, I'm just gonna clean. And I was like, okay. But like deep down, I wanna like help. Like I, I'm paying her to clean, but I wanna be like, can I help you carry anything? Like, do you want me to help you clean? I'll help you clean. It's a, it's a hard concept. It's a, it's a weird concept for me. I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but it was amazing to kind of like take that off of me and hire someone to do it. It was amazing. I'm not even gonna lie, worth every freaking penny. So that happened this morning and I just feel so like so much lighter because my house is like Mm, because my house is freaking spotless. This is gonna be hard for me, guys. There's no cursing thing. Oh my goodness. I curse in front of my parents, so like this is hard. Ugh. Anyways, now it's five o'clock. I need to figure out what to eat. We have literally no food here, but we're really trying not to spend money like ordering food for delivery or like going out to eat, but there's legitimately nothing to eat here. So I gotta figure that out, but while I have you, I did just check the mail on my way in and I have an ASOS delivery. So I wanna show you what I got. It's only two things. I am trying to spend less money and I've been doing good at that, but I'm also at the same time trying to build my wardrobe. What was I saying? Oh, if I spend money, I'm being very, very picky about what I choose to buy. And I'm buying like one or two things at a time, not like 10 things at a time, you know? Because one of my biggest goals this year is to really find my style, like my authentic style without outside influences of society and just what I've always felt like I needed to look like. I'm really trying to just dress how I feel the most confident and how I feel the best version of myself, I guess. So all to say, I'm like trying to save money, but I'm also like building a wardrobe at the same time, but like very carefully. So I got just two things that I thought were perfect for my wardrobe. So first I got these jeans from the tall section. I'm really, really into, I feel like my style, what I would choose to wear is very, like sometimes, I, I think this is why I've also always struggled with my styles because I have like a few different styles and I always felt like I could only have one. So on one hand, I really like looking sexy and sophisticated. So like, like a fitted dress, so it's like sexy, but then it's like long sleeve and like turtleneck and goes down to my ankle. So it's like everything's covered, but then it also looks like grown and sexy vibe. That's one of my styles. And then like very much solids and like white, black, tan and then on the other side of my more like creative artsy side i guess i really like boho style and very 70s so i really love 70s inspired clothes i love super high-waisted pants i'm obsessed right now with wide leg jeans whether they're wide leg and go to the floor or they're wide leg and like cut at the ankle and you wear like a cute booty with it i love wide leg everything right now so i found these really cute wide leg jeans from asos the other two wide leg pants i have are both like a lighter wash so this one's more of a like a medium blue dark wash kind of it's not dark wash but like a medium blue wash so these are them I hope that they fit. I already feel like just by holding them up that they're gonna be a little big in the waist, which is annoying because I sized down. I mean, this might be another pair that I roll. Sometimes I roll the top over of my jeans. I think that's really cute. But these look nice and long, so we'll see. I'm gonna film a TikTok probably 
I don't know, later this week trying this stuff on. And then I just got one dress. This also gives me like bohemian 70s vibe or the way they styled it was, but it's a, just a really long sweater dress. This is what it looks like. You probably can't tell just me holding it up how it looks, but it's really cute. It has a slit in the side. So kind of picture this, like it's like a slouchy oversized beige dress, long sleeve. And then since it has the slit and everything, you can wear like cute boots. So this was a really cute, like basics type of thing. I feel like we're making progress with my closet little by little. But that's all I got. And those are the life updates since I last vlogged. <sighs> I really just need to eat, shower, and like edit for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna do that. And then I have a TMJ appointment tomorrow that I will update you guys on. And I have a I have a ton of appointments this week and lots of exciting stuff this weekend that will be in the next vlog. So lots of fun stuff going on, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm home from my TMJ appointment. I can't remember if I even told you guys, but today is, what is today? <laughs> Today's Tuesday the 24th. It's like 4.30 right now. And I just got home from a TMJ appointment. And this one was a big one because it was my three month update. And now we're going into like phase two of this whole freaking journey. And it's a lot. So I'm gonna sum it up for you, but I wanna give you an update of about what's going on because you guys are gonna be physically seeing the changes and the things that I'm gonna have to do. So um, basically, everything is going really well like some patients I guess the process is longer because they're not as um what's the word like discipline when it comes to like wearing their appliances and doing what they're supposed to do but I have been religious about it like the only time I'm not wearing my appliance is when I'm talking to a camera for like TikTok or the vlog otherwise I'm wearing this I'm wearing this when I'm eating I'm wearing it when I'm walking around I'm wearing it 24 7 and same with my night appliances I've I haven't missed one night of wearing them so I've been extremely diligent about being on top of this because obviously I want this process to be as quick as possible I'm not trying to prolong it in any way shape or form so we're at the three week three week we're at the three month mark and everything looks great i had a ct scan today and all of my other jaw testing so we're starting phase two and phase two consists of a lot of things i mean this might be phase two and three or whatever but basically the rest the entire rest of my tmj journey is gonna look like this okay so next week on Wednesday, I will be getting a small surgery, but I won't be like put under, I'm just taking like a volume. But basically you have these, most people have lip ties where it's like, it's like that little string that connects like your lip to your gums. Most people have it on the top and the bottom. Well, mine are a little bit tight and cause like bigger problems. So I have to get them released or clipped next week. It's a little procedure, it's like nothing crazy. Then, this is the big one, guys. This is the big kicker. Oh, I'm dreading it so much, but like, ugh. I'm prepared, like I'm ready. It is what it is, but I'm just like, why? In about three to four weeks, three to four weeks after I get the lip surgery, I'm getting braces, but only on the top. Guys, it gets I can't guess. Guys, it gets worse. It gets worse, okay? So I'll have braces on the top for about eight months. Then I'll be getting an expander on the top. The expanders you can't really see because it's like in the, it's like on the inside of your teeth and like you can't see it. So I'm getting an expander and that will be for like another eight months or so. After that, I will be getting braces again on the top and the bottom for about a year and a half, which I'm hoping is more like a year. I'm gonna be on top of my like if I can speed this up, I will. Then after that, I'll be getting a lower teeth jaw expander. And then after that, the final thing will be the tongue tie. I have to get my tongue tie clipped at the very end. So that's like, um, let's see, that's like the next three years or so, all this will be happening. But the lip surgery and the braces on the top are happening like within the next month. So obviously you guys are gonna be seeing that. So I definitely wanted to keep you updated. I don't wanna just like hop in a vlog and all of a sudden I have braces and everyone's like, 
what? So I'm dreading it. I think I'm just hoping and praying that I don't look horrible with braces on like how I looked in freaking middle school because that, ugh, I struggle with self image so much and like how I look. So I've, I've gotten it to such a good place that I don't want it to like go back to low about how I think I look and all this stuff. So I'm just hoping that it's all gonna be fine. Like, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll look cute with them. I don't know, I don't know. But before you comment, can you get like Invisalign or like something along those lines? Or some people do braces on the inside of your teeth. Those are both not an option for this type of treatment that I'm doing, but yeah, that's, that'll be the next step i you know won't be able to vlog the procedure i'm pretty sure next week but i will update you after or the day after or whatever whatever i'll update you in the next vlog <laughs> to the best of my ability and of course i'm gonna vlog the day that i get braces so yeah please don't make fun of me but now i have a lot of work to do i have a lot of appointments and phone calls to make so i'm about to do all that get busy and what is tomorrow God, I have so many doctors, y'all, and so many. <laughs> Tomorrow I have to see my back doctor. Then I'm about to have a myofascial doctor. I'm about to have an upper cervical chiropractor for all of this. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have some other doctor that helps with, um, I can't even remember the word she said. Basically three more doctors on top of this doctor and my back doctor and my allergy doctor and my regular doctor and my eye doctor and all this. It's like, I have so many doctors, I can't keep straight. But honestly, super grateful that I don't have my like corporate job anymore because everything I'm doing right now and all the appointments I have, which is insanity. I, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do all of this with my nine to five job. I just freaking wouldn't. So yeah. A lot going on, a lot going on. My head hurts just thinking about all of this. Update time, it is not the next day, it is the next, next day. It's Thursday, the 26th. I just got home from the gym. It was a rough one, but I made it through. I'm icing my back because, back update, I went to my back specialist yesterday and I forgot to vlog, but basically he can't really figure out what's wrong with me because it's so random. Like he has me do all these different stretches and he'll like move my legs different ways and have me like do all these things. And he's like, does it hurt now? Does it hurt now? And it does not, but it hurts randomly when I do random movements but it's not like consistent. Like sometimes it's when I bend forward, but sometimes it's when I bend to the right. Sometimes it's when I'm standing and then sitting and then sitting and then standing. It's like a whole thing, but it doesn't make any sense. So the next step is I'm getting an MRI next week on my back. So we'll see if anything comes of that. I hope it does just so that there are some answers. Cause if there's no problem that they can find then there's no answers, but What's happening with my back is not normal, so I need like I need answers. But anyways, I'm icing my back because he said I need to ice my back after every single workout, and that I have not been doing, so I'm doing that. So I have an MRI Tuesday, a, a minor small mouth surgery on Wednesday, <laughs> and then I have a very important call with a brand the very next day, so don't know how that's gonna go, but we're gonna work it out. But today it's already 4.30 and I went and got a wax. And I bought this while I was there because I had points. Um, I got this deodorant, aloe deodorant. It looks like this, it smells really good and clean. And then also I got these shoes today. Well, they got delivered today. My mom actually got them for me. She always gets points at DSW and then she texts me whenever she needs to use points and doesn't like have her eye on any pair of shoes. So she had done, she had done that. So she did that the other day and I picked these out because I have like no closed toed heels. All my heels are open toed and like strappy sandals. And when it's cold outside and you're wearing like a wintry outfit, the heels look funny cause like the heels are for summer. So I got these. I'm recently obsessed with like really baggy jeans and then a pointed heel. And then all you see at the bottom is like the pointed heel. It looks so sleek and chic and fabulous. So I got these, they're Mark Fisher from DSW and they are so comfortable. They're so stunning. They do run big. So usually I'm a nine or a nine and a half and I got an eight and a half and they fit perfect. So size down if you're gonna get these, but they're super comfortable. Like they don't hurt the feet. Uh, but right now I need to eat some food. I'm gonna eat the rest of, well, not the rest of it. Ooh, I should put this avocado in it. 
Did you eat the rest of the rice? Oh, I was like, geez, that was like a whole thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat the rest of this ground turkey, rice, and yellow squash that I made. I'm gonna put some avocado in it. We've been doing good on the food, like eating better this year so far. But yeah, I really came on here today to just update you guys and end this vlog. I'm gonna start the next vlog this Saturday because this Saturday we got lots going on. I may or may not be getting another tattoo and I have pottery and we're going to a comedy show all in one day. It's gonna be slightly hectic, but we're gonna make it work. So next vlog will be a fun one, but I appreciate you guys watching these in between ones that are like a little bit more boring i appreciate it and also tomorrow me and tori are filming another episode of two cents we appreciate all the love on the episodes but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye